So guys, I know lots of you have been waiting for the imminent release of Falsinked and although it is coming out very very soon, hopefully in the next few days, I've been given early access very kindly by the developer just so I can show my audience what to expect when this application goes live. So I'm not going to waste your time with any intros or anything like that. Let's start the application. Now I'm doing my demonstration on the Amazon 4K Fire Stick, but the application will work on any Android TV device as well, and I believe also Android phones and tablets. Now the first thing we can see is that the new application has a really nice theme, very easy to use layout, and one amazing feature I can see straight away, we now have trending codes. So what that means is, as you can imagine, the people with the very popular codes will now appear inside the trending section. So I can now click on that and we can now see which of these stores are currently the most popular. And the numbers you see next to them is actually the amount of views they've had. And as you can see guys, even though for example, uh, Lee's is like 19, this one up here is 71. It's just because the application is literally so new and it hasn't officially been launched yet. Now, navigation wise, very easy to navigate with the standard remote control. I can now open up one of these stores. Uh, let's go to this one over here. It's a very similar style to what we had with the original filing application. I can now see all of the applications in this list. But one great thing we can see straight away is we now see a YouTube button. Now, what that means is store creators, when they add applications to their stores, they can even add video links. So if your friends, or your family or your customers may need some help understanding this application or how to use this application, they can click on the link and this will then show you how to use this application. So in this demonstration, we can see the application there. If I now click on that, we can see I can either click on the download button or I can click on YouTube. Let's click on YouTube. And straight away, this now opens up the YouTube application and it takes me directly into this video, which is actually one of my videos telling you how to use this application. So I really do think that's a great feature, especially where people are not very tech savvy or they may not know how to use certain applications. Having a YouTube video based tutorial really will make their lives easier. And hopefully you as a store owner means that you'll get less questions from these people installing this application. Okay, let's back out of that. And again, let's say for example, I want to install uh, this application here. I can click on that. Let's click on the green button. It says added to downloads. Now the reason why it says added to downloads is I can actually go back and install multiple applications at the same time. So now I've kicked off the installation for Leanback and also the DB Assistant. And let's lastly do uh, the Launcher Manager. Click on that. So that's three things. If when I now press the back button, I can now go to downloads and we can see all of those three things were queued up for me and all three have now been downloaded. So I think that ability to schedule or download multiple applications at the same time is also a fantastic feature with the new file synced. So now for example, if I want to install this uh, DB assistant, I can click on that. And it now gives me the option to install it. So very straightforward, very easy. And I can now install any application from this store. And let's back out of that. Now again, on the home screen, we can see we have the option to enter a code. We can go to our previous codes, which is any codes that you've entered in before. And again, we can see the trending codes. Uh, let's just add in a code here. So let's just go for all eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's click on next. Let's click on enter. Now we can see straight away that with the first release of file linked, it also supports pin code. So if you want to protect your content or maybe you're giving content to certain customers or certain friends and family, you can add the pin code just to ensure that only they can open it. And it also means that if your store ends up appearing in the trending section, it just means that unless they have the pin code, they can't access your store. Now, fortunately for this one, I know the pin code is this, and this is one of the stores I've uh, found online. Let's go to enter. And we can see this is a more popular store and it has lots more applications in there. 
and again, navigation is very straightforward using a standard remote control and anything I want to download. Uh, let's go for this uh, 2B TV. Click on that. Click on the green thing. It gets added to my downloads. I can now press back on the remote. Go to my downloads. And there we can just see at the bottom there, again, 2B TV is now completed. And we also get the option to delete any of these files. So I think with file link, you could delete all of them at the same time. But with this one, you'll have to select each one individually. So delete this one, delete this one, just to make sure that you're not taking up too much of that space. Let's back out of that, back again. So now when you go back into the application, that's now starting for the first time. Now we can see it remembers your last code, but also if I go down to previous codes, I can now see the previous codes I've used. So there's always that case where sometimes you may find a good code online, but what if you forget it? Whereas with file sync, it will actually store all of the previous codes that you used. So you can easily go back to that and then access the stores again. And let's back out of that. So that's pretty much it from the application side. And in summary, I would say a very nice layout, a lot more similar to file link than some of the other options that we have available at the moment. I really like the trending code section because, you know, for people that don't know where to find codes or what's the best site that has codes, they can just start the application without any knowledge of any codes, just click on trending codes, and they can now straight away see whichever code is currently the most popular. And this will probably be the main way that most people use this application because normally the popular stores are the ones that have the best application. So I do think that's a fantastic feature especially with this initial release of this application. Let me now show you from the web interface on how we can actually create a store, manage codes, add custom codes, and even track the number of downloads each of your individual applications are getting. So let's do that now. And here we are in the web interface of FileSync. So I've just logged in with my account and we can see that I currently have one code which has all nines, which contains six files and I can even see the number of times that my code has been used on this store. So that itself I think is a great feature if you want to see how popular your files are or which files are getting the most hits and overall how busy or active your store is. Now I also really like the layout of the site. So he's gone for a dark sort of gray theme, which I think looks really nice. Now for example, if I now go to manage files, I can see all of the content in this store. So for example, if I click on this button here, I can go to edit, and this will then allow me to edit the content of that link. So here we can see the link which has the picture or the logo for that particular application. And the actual download link is something on archive.org. And here we can see is where you'd actually place that YouTube tutorial. So if you do have YouTube tutorials for those particular files that you're trying to share, you can add them in here. And as we saw on the application, it will then give you a link or something you can click on to then watch that video. So very easy to edit and of course add new application. So now for example, here we can see uh, I currently have one code. I can click on actions. I can say I now want to add a new code. So let's click on that. And I can say this code is gonna be for my uh, premium apps, just for a test. And you can add an image for that, but let's leave that as blank. And let's add the pin code 9119111 and make it active, click on add code. And just like that, we've now added a new code to my account. So, so definitely this application seems more sort of admin panel based where uh, you can have a bunch of codes or you can create multiple codes for your friends, family, customers. And here you can track exactly, you know, how many files are in your, in your store and how many times that particular store has been accessed. Um, so I like the interface. Um, as I mentioned before, it really gives you a nice overall view of all of the codes that you're currently managing. You can see the stats for the codes. You can even change the code. So if you're looking for a vanity code or anything like that, you can also do that. And I definitely think for the initial release, the developer has done a fantastic job. So that's all for this video, guys. And as you can see now, we have three main contenders out there. We have the first one, which was AppLinked. We then have Unlinked, which I reviewed yesterday. And this one, which is coming out very, very soon, which is file sync. So all of them have their strengths. All of them have, you know, key unique features. Definitely with this one, I would say I really like the trending codes feature. 
and I do think that feature will be used a lot but I still think it's early days for me to pick a winner but as you can see in this video this application also has lots of strands and especially for the initial release things will just get better and better so please do make sure that you are subscribed with all notifications so I can bring you the latest updates for all these applications as soon as they come out. So really do appreciate your support and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.